Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48 and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. I did not expect to be recording right now. I just got into game. I was going to do a lot of my prep, you know, get some fish, get some water, get some logs and everything. But I started getting attacked and I wanted you guys to see this defense. So, oh, we got some babies here too. The babies came in the side, so there's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to try and bring this guy into the spiked wall if I can. Now, yep, see, he's going the wrong way. Oh, I just hit him. Knocked him down. Oh, hold on. Got some babies. Oh, there you go. Come on, guys. Walls. Are, see, this is... Oh, at least they're going on those spikes. So, spikes everywhere. They're going to get some spikes eventually. Did the baby get underneath there? You got underneath there, you little bugger? Get out of there. That's not for babies. All right, hold on. There we go. All right, <laughs> see, they're, they're killing themselves on their own spike walls. Why can't I get up there? I gotta put some stairs to get up here. Uh, what is he doing? Is... Is he fighting the babies? This guy's fighting the babies? Seriously? <laughs> the babies killed him! You got killed by babies, bro! You got killed by babies, my man! Oh, good job. Good job, you little guy. Very nice. Wow, that's pretty funny. So these spikes are starting. I'm starting to think these spikes are better than I thought. Um, I'm still not sure which spike setup I like better. This one's definitely easier. Uh, but I don't know about the top spikes. If you could just, if the bottom spikes would work here, and then this would be the best setup. But I'm not sure if the bottom spikes work. You got to do the top spikes, and that's when things become a real problem. Do I hear another baby? I think that's me. Okay, well, you know what, guys? That was pretty awesome. I kind of wish someone would attack this thing. But, you know, we'll get there eventually as we, as we uh, make it bigger. So so there's a couple of things I'd like to do today. I would like to go out and get some plants because I'm going to have to start making health mix because I'm like out of pills. And I take a lot of damage because I suck at combat. So uh, I'm not even going to take a chance at going over these spikes because I don't want to take more damage. But yeah, I'm going to need some way to uh, cure myself without pills. So, I mean, we might find some pills later, but, you know, can't really count on that. So I need aloe vera. I, I want horse. I need aloe vera. I want horse tail and fireweed as well. Aloe vera will um, is obviously needed for health mixes. And if I could get the horse tail and fireweed, I could make the health mix plus, which would be pretty freaking cool. Hold on. I hear something. All right. I don't know. Might have just been me. Uh, so this wall is completely borked, but I don't want to mess with it today. I'm going to mess with it after the video, probably off camera. I think I'm going to have to take out the doors and then take out all of these logs because they are completely borked. Actually, I might do it at the end of the video. We'll see. Because uh, I want you to see how screwed up it's going to get. Um, although I think I've already showed you, so don't know if that really matters. But we'll see. We'll see what I what I get up to. So uh, I made a balcony on this side. And because of that, the place looks, the, the, the house looks uneven. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another balcony on this side as well. And then that way the house will be nice and even. Everything will be cool. And, you know, that'll make me happy. So I got to turn that like that. There we go. And again, beautiful. I'm glad I could do this from down here because then I'd have to run all the logs up there. And that would suck. I'd like to really get this place maybe done today, at least the outside. If I could get the outside done today, I'd be very happy. And I will consider it complete, even if it's just the outside. The inside's just decorations. That's, you know, not the main part of the building. So, uh, yeah, I think we could do it. You know, I mean, I know I could do it. It's just uh, time restraints, you know. Uh, I have a lot going on today. Um, well, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, staying busy is always a good thing. So, you know, that would be nice if I could get this done. Oh, it's on the second level. I thought it was on the third level for some reason. All right, so we got to take care of that. I'm going to put these down. I'm going to pick these up. I don't know why. It oh, so that was actually the right way. These are the wrong way. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I thought I was doing this the right way. I wasn't. Look at that. Got some enemies here. Walk into the spikes, bro. Yeah, they won't walk into the spikes. So this isn't going to work with the spikes like this. I was hoping they'd walk into them, but they're not. They're usually just walking around. Although these guys seem like they're walking into the wall and getting kind of messed up. The, I think the build is going to work. I just have to, like, complete it, you know? There you go. Uh, I'm out of arrows. Well, I'm out of good arrows. I got to go get some more 3D printed arrows. Yeah, these guys are all screwed up. Probably because of the spikes. 
Yeah, they just keep walking into the spikes. It's wonderful. Look at this. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I might, like, connect a wall up here. Maybe connect a wall right here to try and get them to walk into these, but... <laughs> I ran into it myself as I'm laughing at them. Oh, man. This guy's seen better days. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? These spikes are doing work, man. They really are. I like them. I think they're both good builds. I really do. I think this one will be more effective, but also more time intensive. Okay, well, looking good so far. I have the second side balcony pretty much done, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I uh, I saw a build from someone in the cage crew. I think it was Miser or somebody, and they did something really cool that I really liked, and I'm going to do it myself. So check this out. So what you do is you put these in the sides, like so, and then you take out the middle parts, and it looks a lot better in my opinion. You leave it on the bottom as, as the railing, and if you did it right, you might be if it's not too long, you might be able to take them all out, which would be which would be ideal. Yes. Yes. That looks really cool. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. And on the other side of this one. Now this one's gonna be too long. I can already I can already tell. Uh, but that's okay. It'll still look better, even if we have to leave one in the middle or something. So is there one in the middle? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, there's not one in the middle. There's two in the middle where there's an open window. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's an open window. So what we'll do is we'll take this. Oh, really? All right. I'm kind of surprised at that. Uh, well, I, I don't know. And then I uh, <laughs> thought I'd be able to. Um, I think what we could do is we could do that. Take that. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll do this. We could still work with it. I just don't know why I can't take it out. So maybe because there's a lot of weight on top. I don't know exactly how the structural integrity stuff works. And then we'll put another one right here. And then we should be able to take th this one out. And maybe this one too. Uh, I don't. Well, even if we did, we'd have to put this one right here. And then we take this one out. That looks pretty good as well. Honestly. Actually, it might look better than what I had planned. Believe it or not. <laughs> So then we will do the same thing here. And yeah, so I wonder if the roof has something to do with this. Why can it wait? Why can I not take this one out? Hold on. I'm not really sure why I can't take that one out. Oh, did I see a hole? No. I mean, I, I did, but uh, I'm going to leave it alone for now. <laughs> I'll fix that later. It's not exactly what it needs to be. So I'm just going to leave those right there. And I'm going to see what I can do. It's really weird. That, I guess it's the only thing that's different is the roof. So I'm not really sure. Oops. Yeah. That is odd. Uh, well, why don't we do this? Why don't we put one right here? Now, I mean, that should really be able to come out now. Okay, great. So we'll do that. Uh, that's two open spaces. That's two open spaces. That's one open space. So we'll do it like that. Okay. Now I'm going to want the other side to match this side. So I'm going to do... Oh, I need one more corner piece too. I'm going to put another corner piece here to make sure everything matches. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. Um, I, I'm thinking if I took the roof down, I might be able to have this completely open like the other side. But that's okay. I kind of like this as well. I decided to alter this a little bit. I'm not going to put these struts in the middle. Because if you put the struts in the middle, this middle basically gets completely blocked. So if it's just one, you know, window, I'll leave the struts out of it. It should be fine. And that's what I got going on over here. So let's go ahead and finish the roof up here. I got one other thing I got to show you. The roof is not quite what I want it to be. And I'm going to show you why. It, it looks kind of weird from the outside, but I think I have a fix. So if you look right here, see how the, like the, the log sticking out the roof right there? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a three quarters and see how that looks. So I took this one out and now I will try and put it back. Kind of weird. It's not letting me put it back though. Hmm. That's odd. It won't let me put it back. I mean, I guess I could leave it just open like that, but yeah, I don't know what's up with that. You know, let's, let's take this one out and see what happens. See, I could put the full one back. Why can't I put the three-quarter one in? Uh, the three-quarter one fall? No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Wait, where'd it go? 
I don't even know where it fell. Okay. Oh, whatever. I'll see if I can find it. Hello, three-quarter log. Where the heck did you go, bro? Is that it? I don't think that's it. That's it. Okay. Fair enough. I should have stuck it into the foundation properly so it didn't roll off. No harm, no foul. So this... Oh, I can put it from the inside. Oh, hold on. Maybe um, we could do it over here. See, look. I'm not, I don't have the opportunity to put the log back in there because it's three-quarters. Oh, that's, that's, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. <laughs> okay. So I could either have it sticking out or leave it. I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to leave it out. It's a little hole there, but maybe, can I put the quarter in there? The quarter piece? Maybe a half piece? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's not letting me put anything in there unless it's a full, full log. That is quite interesting. I can actually put this back, right? Yeah, I can. All right, I'm going to leave it open for now. And I'll just kind of see how I feel about it. Um, I don't feel good about it. I feel like I should be able to put a half or a quarter block in there. It's kind of, it's kind of annoying. Um, but eh, it is what it is. It's a very small thing, but it's, it's the little things in life, right? All right, let me finish this roof here. Well, I did not expect this right today. I heard, uh, Virginia shooting her gun. I was like, what's she shooting at? I think he's messed up on the, uh, spikes. All right, that's good. Yeah, I heard her shoot her gun. I was like, ah, eh, there's probably a cannibal or two out there. I didn't, I didn't expect this guy. He's done. I'm not sure if he's bloody because of the spikes or because Virginia shot him or both, but that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. And we've got that second balcony just about done. So let me go show you what I got going on up there. That's, yeah, now that looks a lot more, um, it's a strange looking house. I'm, I'm not going to say it's not, but I think it's got character. I like it. And, you know, it kind of looks like a mushroom, doesn't it? The mushroom house? Yeah, the mushroom house. I kind of like that. I think it looks freaking dope. And let's go see what we got. Yeah, this freaking door. <laughs> we're definitely going to have to mess around with this door today. See if I can get it situated. I don't think we're going to finish the house today, unfortunately. But, yeah, so that's what we got. We got that up there. Those look great there. Uh, last thing I was doing before I started recording was I... Let's mess around with these. I'm trying to get these out of here because these aren't correct. All right, so we got those two out. So now we need either a three quarter, which I don't think I have, or a full log. So let's go ahead. I don't think I have any. All right, I have one full log left. Okay, I gotta go out there and get some more logs. Not a problem. And then if you put this right like that. No, that's not what I wanted to do, you freaking game. Mm. Totally wasted that log because I don't have anything to do with these. Like, nowhere do I have to put these. <laughs> oh, that drives me nuts. What's up here? What is that? Why is this here? I don't know why this is here. Bring this down here. All right, fine. I'll grab a log from this. And let's see if we can do this right. Take your time. There we go. That's what we want. And then a half log goes over that. And then a quarter log over that. Beautiful. Perfect, if I dare say it. Pretty early in the day, and I have been doing a lot of building. I think I want to switch it up now and go look for some aloe vera. And I think I have an idea of where it is. Uh, there we go. Uh, and we're going to go out and pick it, and, you know, hopefully it'll respawn relatively quickly. We can get a lot of it. Maybe not a lot of it today, but uh, we can also get seeds for it. And I think our zip line is going to take us right there. I'm going to grab some fish, too, as long as they're not um, rancid. If they're rotten, I might take them as well, but we'll see. The thing is, if I take the fresh fish, I can eat it while I'm out. But I have a lot of food on me. I shouldn't have to take fresh fish. See, the thing is, fish on the drying rack is really cool because you don't have to do anything. You just put it on the drying rack and wait. But the, the thing is, though, I like to get hit points back with fish. And you're not going to get a lot of hit points back with the fish on the drying rack. The, the cooked fish gets way more hit points back. Maybe, like, double, you know? So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. I'm just going to go ahead and take some drink here. I should also stop by the 3D printer and grab some arrows. We'll see. Um, just, you know, a little tight today, man. I got a lot of, I got a meeting I got to go to in real life today. And uh, it's really going to cut my time short. I got to record two videos and I got to stream. Busy, busy, busy. I like staying busy, though. You know, staying busy keeps your mind occupied. Like, I notice when I'm not busy, like, my mind just, like, thinks of all the bad stuff in the world, in my life. And it's just best to just... Keep your mind busy, stay focused, you know? I, I, I have a feeling of 
accomplishment or like um, production when I'm doing stuff like this. That you know, it's like, well, yeah, this is bad in your life, that's bad in the world, but you know what? You are working towards making things better, and that's that's a good that's a good feeling. If I can only do it for my diet, you know, I'm like, oh, man, I'm really overweight, and I need to get on a diet. And it's just like, okay, you're worried about your weight, but if you do the diet, then guess what? You don't have to worry about your weight anymore. You just have to worry about the fact that you can't have the food you want, which really blows. Uh, right, so I think the aloe vera will be around here somewhere, maybe on the other side of the river. So we're just going to kind of look around and see if we can find some. And I don't know, like, how religiously... Oh, what is that? Oh, fireweed. Yes, fireweed's one of the things I need. I need horsetail and fireweed. Is, horse, is horsetail the one that everyone was having trouble finding? I think horsetail might have been... Because I remember there was something and people were like, Oh, is that where horsetail is? Or is it this horsetail? Aren't these horsetails? Or am I thinking of something different? Could have swore these were horsetails. But, I don't know. Could be wrong. Anyway, I remember people saying, Oh, horsetails, we finally found some. And I'm like, who cares? And then now I'm running out of pills. And I'm like, oh, I need horsetails. <laughs> So, um, aloe vera is the most important one, though. If I can find aloe vera, um, aloe vera and, uh, I think it's yarrow makes the, um, the regular health mix, which, you know, I mean, it, obviously it won't give as much as the health mix plus, but that's okay. That is a-okay. Al without aloe vera, without aloe vera, guess what? You ain't got none of it. So... I'm going to continue looking in these woods because I think it's around here somewhere. You know what really, really sucks about these kind of videos is I know I'm going to run by it. And then people are going to tell me how I ran by it and I'm going to feel like a fool. Somebody said you could mix berries. Is that is that true? Can you mix berries? What do you mean full? What's full? Oh, you can't. Oh, I thought, you, I thought someone said you can mix berries. Oh, wait, what can I? Oh, I see berries go into energy mix. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Someone was saying something about berries. I don't remember what it was, though. Hello, aloe vera. Where are you? I have spotted it before when I found it. I just didn't know where I found it. I didn't mark it. I didn't think about it. Oh, there we go. Boom. Aloe vera. Okay, so there's a few of them around here. There's another one. All right. Very good. Not seeing any more, though. I was hoping there'd be... Like, a lot of them. Did I get any seeds? I didn't look. Yes, I did. Oh, I got three aloe vera seeds. It's awesome. All right, I'm going to look around for some more. If I find, like, one or two more, I'm going to mark this spot. But for only two aloe vera plants, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth marking it. I am not finding any more aloe vera, but I did find a cannibal camp. And I'm thinking I want to mix it up with them a little bit, maybe. Let's see where it is. It's got mutants in it. But I think if I could surprise him... Oh, hold on. I think if I could surprise him with a grenade, maybe this might go my way. Who knows? There's definitely a McRib in there. All right, here we go. That's not gonna... Nope. You just can't throw grenades far enough. So it's got some guys tied up. Yeah, yeah, the grenades just uh, don't go far enough. All right, I'm going to put on some armor for this excursion. Eh, three pieces. Hopefully we'll be fine. There's the McRib. Now, there's a couple ways I can mess with the McRib. I could try and stun him. I can hit him in the legs. Uh, you know, I guess I'll hit him in the legs. Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. That's not good. So I think what happens is the McRibs, like, wipe out the rest, like, the regular cannibals. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I see this. Here, we're, gonna, we're going big on this one. There's a twinsy, too. Oh, tell me I killed the twinsy. Nope. Not kill the twinsy. Oh, there we go. Got him. Get him! Yeah, that, that twinsy is going to be a problem. I'm going to grab this just in case I forget about it. I should also eat something to get some more stamina. So I will do that as well. Time out! Time out!
I gotta have some crunchy wunchies. There we go. Alright, I'm not messing with this guy. For real. I'm going slugs. Uh, he didn't see me coming at me. I'd prefer not to get to him at the same time as the McRib. Yep. Alright, come on. Come on. Alright, here he comes. Oh boy. Now the McRib's coming at me. Multiple McRibs. Alright, you're done. Is that two McRibs behind me? I think it might be. Here we go. Um, damn it! Yeah, two McRibs at the same time is no joke. I think Buckshot is stronger than Slugs, by the way. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, shot him in the leg. And there he goes. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna grab him. Yeah, like, I, I honestly, guys, do you feel that way? Like, don't you feel like this, the, the, the Buckshot is stronger than the Slugs, even though, theoretically, Slugs should probably be stronger? Well, apparently, I killed this one, too. Alright, cool, cool. I think this is the second McRib that was chasing me, which means I think everything that could really hurt me is out of here. There's some little guys running around, but they shouldn't be that big of a deal. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the twinsy is is, is gruesome. <laughs> gruesome. And I already got you. Uh, Alright, so we got a we got a little guy here. So these are these guys are tied up, so I get I could just kill them at my discretion. All right, bro. Oh, there's another McRib? Seriously? Ugh. See, I could probably handle the McRib, but I'm afraid the other guys are going to come up and attack me while I'm fighting him, so I'd prefer to kill them as well. Or at least first. Oh, boy. You know what I need to do? I need to put this on a hot bar. Uh, seven? I don't know. I think I had something at seven, but that's okay. Oh boy. Alright, switch. So if you hit him, it, it seems to me, it seems to me that when you hit him in the legs, it. Oh boy. Do not attack me, please. It seems to me when you hit him in the legs, it does stun him. But you seem to get a better chance of stunning him. By the way, this is where all the aloe vera is. You get a better chance of stunning him if you use the spear. So that's kind of my thought process on that. Alright, so I want to kill these guys, but I want to kill them while they're tied up. But And I don't want to get attacked while I'm doing it, obviously. So let's see if we can do this. Let's hit him in the legs. There you go. And get, now the reason I'm killing these guys is because for the creepy armor. I'm surprised the McRib wasn't tied up. Usually the McRib's tied up too. Um, although I've seen McRib's like break free and just freaking decimate the entire camp. Calvin, what the heck are you doing here? Calvin, this is not a place for you. Unbelievable with this guy. I thought that was something. All right. So let's uh, take a look around. We still have some some stragglers in here, but they don't seem to really want to attack me yet. Usually attack you when you're not looking. Look at this ghost thing. That's freaking cool. It looks like it looks like the predator built that thing. It's like a predator tech. Oh, what we got here? Cloth, love it. Change, nice. We're good. All right, cool. All right, that was a good camp to go to. Let's uh, run around and look for the aloe vera. I was, because I didn't find aloe vera for a long time, and then I was told that there's aloe vera here. But then I was thinking to myself, maybe aloe vera only spawns at certain times of the year, but then I already found aloe vera, so that doesn't make any sense. We are getting a lot of aloe vera here. What I really want is a lot of seeds. Four seeds. The seeds seem a little rare, but, you know, I don't like that they put this aloe vera in a camp, so now i got to destroy a camp to get the aloe vera. Although, I, if you destroy the camp properly, you'll walk out of there with more creepy armor than you started with. 
I think I'm gonna run out of here soon. Let me just take one more look around. Okay. Anything back here? I'm not seeing any more. Alright, cool. Time to go home. Made my way back to base, and let's go ahead and plant some aloe vera. Although it's almost winter time. I don't know if this is even gonna like work out for me, but maybe I should wait. When actually hold on. When are the days? Is they ever are they ever ten days or five days? Crap, I don't remember. All right, if it's day 26, I've got a few days to winter. If winter comes in, it would be on day 30 or 31. I think I'm okay to plant some aloe vera. And I'm also going to plant some aloe vera up here. And I'll probably... I'm going to make a, a, a garden or something. Should I make the... I should probably make the garden on one of my decks. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of decks. I can make gardens. Like up here. Um, instead of this being a sitting area, I can make it like a... A garden or something? Let's see how big these, um... Come on, I'm pressing B. Why isn't the book coming up? There we go. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, I really wanted a sitting area up here, too, though. That's a thing. I'm thinking, like... Uh, hold on. Something like that? Have them come over to here? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. There's a decent amount of room up here, but I do want an area to sit. I also thought I was going to get this base done today. What a joke that was. <laughs> a lot of a lot of work to do. But here's the thing. The skeleton of the base is now finished. All there is is filling in logs. That should go pretty easily. Um, pretty easily in the over the next couple of videos. Oh, yeah. Let me go ahead and save the game. And I'm going to mess around with this door and see what we can do with it. Save. And let's come out to this door and see what is going on. I think I might just tear it down let's try and repair it first even though i'm pretty sure this is gonna mess it up yep messed it up okay take this off take this off and i'm going to have to yeah this is gonna be a big project and i really don't have time for it today so i'm gonna leave it alone uh, i'm gonna reload the game and uh i think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take it off and then just pick up all these logs maybe up to about here Replace them all and then redo the door, but I'm going to have to push that out because I got to go If you guys end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time and until then take it easy